a very warm welcome and good morning to one and all present here i see very huge number over here well uh, first of all i would like to thank dr s and ss gandhi government engineering college surat and professor darshan mehta for inviting me for such a thoughtful webinar over here now let us start our session all right so as you can see dr apj abdul kalam has always been an epitome of inspiration to all of us he has rightly said dreams transform into thoughts and thoughts result in action so yes as i can see a huge number attending this webinar that means all of you do have a dream and if that dream is to crack and get the government job then the first question arises why government job Let's see as you can see many lucrative things over here you get a reputation you become talk of the town you get prestige but there is this underlying basic element behind having a government job is that as the name suggests public service commission right so you get a platform to serve your state to serve your nation to serve your society so basically by government job you can transform your thoughts into action legally with authority if you have a government job so yes if you have a dream you really do have a very good dream to get a government job so basically there is this media hype right we read in the newspaper lakhs of applicants have applied for the preliminary round out of which only 7000 7500 candidates will be passed in the first round and will go and appear for the mains round and out of which again only around 1100 will be appearing the interview session and finally the candidates who are eligible will be through all the three rounds so basically if you want to be in this thin margin what we can do yes there is this saying what we can do everybody has the same time so our first task is to save time yes dear students time management is very necessary even in shrimad bhagavad gita shri krishna says shri krishna himself is a time and so managing time needs really important efforts so first thing that comes before us is to manage the time and save time but when we talk about time we cannot avoid our essential activities right of course we do have friends we have games we have we need to be on social handles twitter facebook how many likes do i get yes this is very common and that we like and this is necessary still we have college we have submissions projects library and of course how can we forget the movies right so basically in these all essential activities you need to adjust somewhere this thing reading right so reading when we say what to read right when we say reading and that to particularly for government exams let us understand first the exam structure so what we are reading for we are reading for this three all together exam levels that gpsc gujarat public service commission class 1 to exams or any general exams scheduled by gujarat public service commission asks you for all right the levels vary from exam to exam but syllabus is more or the less same 
since if you are preparing for class 1 to exam then any other exam will be easier for you so let us see the levels the first is preliminary round which consists of 400 marks second level is mains which is descriptive in nature that means you'll have to write in detail in a given prescribed space yes this you need to understand that mains consists of exam paper and answer book the answer book prescribes specific word limit and space whereby you have to write your answer so they have to be in points and finally if you clear these mains exams you have to appear for the interview interview is a personality test which is purely to assess your confidence to check your background to check your knowledge and understanding about the services about your own background about your education and current affairs this is how the interview consists of now the merit is made up of only these two as you can see mains and interview interview together out of 1000 marks the merit will be formed now if you cross or if you score marks above 450 there are many good chances that you be in the list of gpsc now talking about preliminary exam preliminary exam consists of two papers that is general studies 1 and general studies 2 these two papers each of 200 marks now there is subject classification so when i start reading i should know what subjects i am reading what subjects i'll be preparing so general studies one paper both of them which are completely in mcq nature you will be given four options one question you have to choose one of the four options if you don't want to answer you have to choose the fifth option which is e make sure this is the new policy made by gpsc in the last few years that if you don't attend or if you don't want to attempt a question you cannot keep the omr sheet blank you have to mark that answer with e mentioning that you have not attempted your answer so that is how you attempt your omr sheet now in general studies one paper what are different subjects history art and culture polity international relations and general mental ability now what is general mental ability that is in layman's language maths and reasoning all right so maths is not engineering background but it's a general maths as in time speed and distance uh, or profit and loss or cost sales based questions and reasoning all types of reasoning they cover but again that's of a graduation level so you need not to worry it's a kind of general maths in nature now talking about general studies two paper there are these subjects like economy geography science technology and current affairs again okay. in this paper science and technology is purely in general based they will not ask you science of engineering background or medicinal background but it's in general nature for example like isro's mission that comes under science and technology yes so different isro missions uh, they have been in trend for gpsc so you need to go through very well with the current affairs of science and technology of isro different innovations discoveries likewise now when we are talking about current affairs it forms the basis of all the two papers why because there are two types of gk one is static gk and other is current affairs current affairs is something that keeps on changing for example let's take example of isro uh isro launched mangal mangalyaan so that is a static which is already done now you cannot change it but what is going to change gaganyaan or uh the suits they are in orange color so this is current affairs you have to add your current affairs to your static gk which is already done which is already there which is already which has already happened same is the case with 
history so if you talk about harappan civilization there are many excavations still going on by the archaeological survey department so if they find out if they come across a new excavation site you it becomes current affairs for the history right so basically when we talk about subjects all the subjects are interwoven let's take another example how they are interwoven in history we see that there are many kings there are many uh, their achievements their their inputs given for the development of the society now how it uh, how it is linked to the art and culture or geography i would say geography uh, history for example history bhagavad go mandal okay bhagavad go mandal was written by bhagavad singh ji from he was the king of gondal now this is history so how it is related to geography from gondal from rajkot so you have to whenever you read you have to interlink the subjects and that is how you can remember it art and geography how they are related art culture geography now talking about varli varli is a type of painting secondly varli is a tribe which resides in the border of uh, across the border of gujarat and maharashtra so like in maharashtra they reside in palghar area so that becomes a geography point of view art and culture point of view they make varli paintings they have they use rice paste to design their paintings right so that is how basically these all subjects are interlinked so whenever you read subject you need to understand that there is a relation between the subjects now whenever we think that let's i'm clear with the subjects i know the structure so what comes next is to understand the syllabus to understand the syllabus to understand the nature of questions and for that you need to read the syllabus the syllabus is very easily available on the gpss official government website you can download it through the website why to read question papers of prelims means of the previous year that will develop your sight as to how the questions are framed so now i know the syllabus that i have harappan civilization in my syllabus but what type of question will be framed that idea will come out when only i will read the previous years question paper so this should go hand in hand so once you read the syllabus then go through the question papers of last 2 3 years you will have the idea and finally once you are done with this that you have the basic understanding you need to know that which subjects you are comfortable with you can bifurcate them as in favorite familiar or to be worked out subject as being the engineers having engineering background you might not be familiar with the art subject or history subjects so for that you can say it's familiar group of subjects so you can keep history art in the familiar group of subject but your favorite may be general mental ability likewise you have to work out all the subjects and then you can start reading now when the question of reading comes important thing is what to read right so making the list of books is very necessary as because till date there are n number of books materials pdfs xeroxes photocopies are available in the market but to choose the authentic book is very necessary so after the syllabus exam question papers subject by bifurc bifurcation next and important thing comes is making list of books magazines and newspapers see we are meeting today on webinar it's online so it's online ka zamana to ab is zamane mein online sources ko to hum bhool nahi sakte isliye you have to mark out which are authentic online sources because you will find many people uploading their data online on youtube which is easy but then what is important is having authentic material so for your convenience i'm suggesting completely it is subjective but this is what i used 
which i referred these are the basic publications you can go through being the beginner of the exam preparation if you are the beginner of the exam preparation you can go through these publications i have mentioned in gujarati for the gujarati language and also for the english language these are few basic books as i am saying these are madam, basic books yes ha huh, madam someone has uh, clicked on present now so your screen is not uh, visible uh, to the participants so i request right. again to present uh, click on the present now and just share your screen okay and i request all the participant please don't click on present now and it is also requested to all the participant please switch off your video so uh, screen is also uh, screen is already visible yes all right is it audible now yes 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 ma'am now okay all right so we were on the point that these are the general and basic books and the publications that a beginner can go through and they can find good authentic information through these publications as for gujarati as you can see there are few publication these are the local publications and for english they those who are preparing for upsc they must be aware, uh, aware of this for example if you are preparing for polity lakshmi kant is must like you cannot a skip lakshmi kan book of polity which is which is basic and even if you don't add up to lakshmi kan that then only you will do good and you'll do good in exam so like these are the basic books that anybody focusing or preparing for government exams should read all right so after these publications and books i'm suggesting few magazines and newspapers because when somebody says that i am preparing for government exam the first thing comes is current affairs and what is the best source is the newspaper because it's a daily so you get your self updated daily daily basis through different newspapers uh the very favorite and trending newspaper is the hindu which has always been a favorite newspaper to upsc aspirants and now gpsc aspirants too because the gpsc level of any exam is now tough they have changed their pattern which uh, consists of many questions which are of national international importance so yes the hindu newspaper then these are the local newspaper and finally these are the magazines lgk is from liberty publication latest facts in general knowledge csr is comprehension success review then there is chronicle then there is pib press information bureau this is of government publication so they give very authentic data and then there is this yojana magazine yojana magazine uh, it costs hardly 10 rupees or so which is very cheap but very authentic in nature so these are few suggestive bibliographies that i have shared with you when you want to make a list go through this now there is another way if you are still if you are still pursuing your graduation you still have time because these exams require graduation so if you are still pursuing your degree then what you can do you can go to a shop you can go through these various publication choose the right book having comfortable language that you are with choose that book and you can buy that if you if you don't have time so basically if you are you have already completed your graduation now it's high time for you to appear for the exam and prepare for the exam then don't go searching for the books rather than pick up these particular publication and start reading that is how these are the two techniques you can employ either choose the books for yourself or simply go through the books that are prescribed by the toppers or that are basically authentic books yeah so this is a big question generally uh, the students face because when in the morning the daily comes your father takes it with reads it with a cup of tea or coffee and then he reads for around half an hour or one hour aram se and then us par se comments hoti hai ki are aaj ye ho gaya surat mein to ye ho gaya 
so then how to read being an aspirant how to read a newspaper it's not like that you have to read the entire newspaper have mind well you don't have to read the supplements chitra lok sahiyar and uh, bal sahitya or something so you don't need to read the entire newspaper so what to read in a newspaper let's have a glimpse of what to read in a newspaper this is the surat edition of sandesh uh, i am on the 11th number page as you can all see uh, let me zoom in it shows it's the national international page of today that saturday and it talks about atankwad no aka pakistan fatf na gray list ma yathavat now i'm telling you how to read a newspaper all right so once i come across this news in today's paper first question that should arise in my mind is what is fatf so fatf is basically financial action task force and so gray list so that means there should be other colors red pink yellow blue no so they have particularly mentioned colors the last one is black once you, the country is in the black list that means no other country is going to lend you money so basically after reading this news how should i read it from the perspective of a as an aspirant on the exam so first question is fatf what is fatf what are its actions and its tasks what are the types of lists what does fatf do once a country is put into the black list so basically these are few questions that should come into your mind when you are reading a news all right and pakistan why it's in the gray list because it is related in the money laundering case and that is why fatf has put it in the gray list all right so that is how you should read a newspaper there is another article in today's newspaper which talks about vada pradhan modi is going to launch three projects digitally now the suryodaya yojana ropeway yojana and finally the biggest cardiac hospital in the country all right so whenever you are reading a newspaper if pradhan mantri modi does something launching you should definitely read it because some or the other way it forms the pattern in the question so this is how it is currently what we are facing right now is that there are by elections they will be conducted by election on 3rd november if you read newspaper you know this in the eight districts of gujarat there will be by elections so if i read this news of by election what question should come into my mind first and foremost in what situations by election is conducted secondly by election is conducted in state districts or in cent at central level which level is by this uh, by election is conducted finally who conducts the by election is it election commission of india election commission of state or any other body so just one point that is by election but there are many questions that should come into my mind when i read the newspaper they are not going to ask you that in this by election which party is going to contest no but the questions will be formed this way let's talk about farmers act okay these uh, recently three farmers act are passed so previously there were bills now they have become the act so how how they become how a bill becomes act that process that forms the part of polity that we need to understand and finally one more example uh there is this election in bihar all right it is held on 28th october so from that question can be arised what is code of conduct aachar samhita apne jene kahiye aachar samhita aachar samhita ketla kallak pehla lagu pade chhe aachar samhita kon lagu padvama महत्व नो भाग भजवे इलेक्शन कमीशन ऑफ इंडिया नो रोल शू तो आवा बदा प्रश्नों जय आप न्यूज वाँची के भाई बिहार इलेक्शन चिराग पासवा ने नीतिश यादव ने नहीं साथ आप राइट तो आवा बदा न्यूज हो आप शू चाड़ी ने लेवा तो आप लेवा इलेक्शन जयपुर थाय तो आ इलेक्शन कंडक्ट कौन करे आचार संहिता शू के कलाक पहला लगे आ कोश्चन बने 
તો કોલટી નો એટલે કે આપણી ભારતીય રાજ્ય વ્યવસ્થા સો ધીઝ આર ફ્યુ પોઈન્ટ દેટ આઈ વોન્ટ ટુ હાઈલાઈટ બિકોઝ ધીસ ઇઝ વેરી ક્રુશિયલ ક્વેશ્ચન દેટ હિન્દુ લઈને બેઠા એટલે એવું થાય કે હવે ત્રણ કલાક હું હિન્દુ જ વાંચું ત્રણ કલાક હું સંદેશ જ વાંચું ને એવી નોટ્સ બનાવ કે પતી જાય પણ ડોન્ટ ડુ દેટ ડોન્ટ ગો ઓન રીડિંગ ન્યૂઝ પેપર્સ ફોર આવર્સ ટુગેધર યુ જસ્ટ હેવ ટુ સ્પેન્ડ હાફ એન આર એન્ડ દેટ વિલ કમ વિથ અ સ્પીડ અનલેસ એન અન્ટિલ યુ ડુ નોટ રીડ ઇટ રેગ્યુલરલી સો મેક અ હેબિટ દેટ યોર મોર્નિંગ બિકમ્સ બિગિન્સ વિથ અ ન્યૂઝ પેપર ઓર યોર નાઇટ એન્ડ વિથ અ ન્યૂઝ પેપર એટલીસ્ટ ફોર હાફ એન આર ઓકે સો ધીસ ઇઝ હાઉ એન્ડ ઇવન ઇન ન્યૂઝ પેપર વોટ ટુ રીડ I told you how to read a newspaper. Now, now let's talk about what to read in the newspaper. In that, cover page is must. Editorial is must. Why editorial? Kalaj Sandesh made editorial regarding this Farmers Act. So, Emma has a picture of Emma. It's a Maharishi Karine. It's a Telugu film. It's a very fantastic film, but it's in Telugu, not dubbed yet, as per my information. But they do have the captions in Hindi and English. So, this telugu film can be watched they the film talks about the farmers and agricultural questions and their pain that is very finely screened in the movie so this is a good movie so our article sena par thi aavyo karan ke no base hato agricultural acts that have been recently passed ana par thi biju films and movie par thi questions nathi aavta eu bilkul nathi gpsc 19 no pehlo j question e hato ke reva movie e kaya sahit etle ke kai બુક પરથી બની છે ઓકે ધ્રુવ ભટ્ટની બુક ધ્રુવ ભટ્ટ લેખક છે એના તત્વ મસી નામની એ બુક છે તો એવું નથી કે સિનેમા જગતનું નથી આવતું પણ એમાંથી શું આવી શકે એ એક સાઇટ આપણી પાસે ડેવલપ થવી જોઈએ અને કેવી રીતે આવશે જો તમે પ્રીવિયસ ઇયરના પેપર્સ વાંચશો તો તમને ખબર પડશે ધ પેટર્ન ઓફ ક્વેશ્ચન એન્ડ મનસી નો ધ પેટર્ન ઓફ ક્વેશ્ચન યુ રીડ ધ ન્યૂઝ પેપર ઇન દેટ વે નાઉ કમિંગ બેક ટુ વોટ વોટ પેજીસ યુ શુડ રીડ ધ ફર્સ્ટ ઇઝ કવર પેજ second is national international third is editorial and finally the last page that that kind that is a kind of a summarizing uh, portion so these are four to five pages you should read regularly and that will hardly consist consume your half an hour a day once you gather the speed it will be hardly 30 minutes now supplements nahi vachwa evu nahi સપ્લિમેન્ટ માં શું વાંચવું જેમ કે સંદેશ ની વાત કરું તો અર્ધ સાપ્તાહિક કરીને એક સપ્લિમેન્ટ આવે છે વિચ ઇઝ વેરી ગુડ ઇન નેચર વેન ઇટ કમ્સ ટુ આર્ટિકલ્સ દે આર વેરી થોટફુલ મોહમ્મદ માકડ અથવા તો વિનોદ રાવ વિનોદ રાય આવા બે ત્રણ લેખકો છે તો એમના આર્ટિકલ્સ વાંચવા જોઈએ વિચ આર વેરી થોટફુલ ઇન નેચર ઇટ વિલ ડેવલપ અ સાઇટ આ સાઇટ ક્યારે કામ આવશે પ્રિલિમ્સ માં નહીં કારણ કે દેટ ઇઝ એમસીક્યુ ઇન નેચર બટ ઇન મીન્સ વેન યુ આર રાઇટિંગ યુઅર સ્ટેન્ડ સ્ટેન્ડ એઝ ઇન પ્રોઝ લખો કોન્સ લખો તો ત્યારે જો તમે આ વાંચેલું હોય ને આ એડિટોરિયલ્સ આર્ટિકલ્સ તો તમને ત્યારે મેઇન્સમાં ઘણો ઉપયોગી નીવડશે આફ્ટર ન્યૂઝ પેપર દેર કમ્સ ધીસ વેરી ઇમ્પોર્ટન્ટ થિંગ વિચ ઇઝ ઓનલાઈન સોર્સીસ વાઉ ધીસ ઇઝ વેરી વંડરફુલ યુ નો ધીસ ઇઝ વેરી લ્યુક્રેટિવ અગેન વાય બિકોઝ વેરી ઇઝીલી એક ક્લિક કરો એટલે સાઇટ ખુલી જાય તમને સરસ ચિત્ર દેખાય રંગબેરંગી કોઈ વચ્ચે વિડીયો આવી જાય એટલે જોવાની એટલી અતિશય મજા આવે કે કોઈ બોલતું એના કરતા એ જોવાની વધારે મજા આવે બટ માય ડિયર સ્ટુડન્ટ એમાં પણ કઈ સાઇટ્સ અને શું વાંચવું એ બહુ મહત્વનું રહેશે ધીસ ઇઝ વોટ આઈ યુઝ ટુ રેફર એટલે મેં આ તમને સજેસ્ટ કર્યા છે બટ ધીઝ આર ઓથેન્ટિક ઇન નેચર કારણ કે બહુ રેગ્યુલરલી એમના અપડેટ્સ થતા હોય છે અને થોટફુલ મટીરિયલ હોય છે એટલે તમે આને એઝ અ બિગિનર યુ કેન સી ઇટ તમે વાંચી શકો છો જોઈ શકો છો વિડીયોઝના અને પીડીએફના મેં સજેસ્ટ કર્યા છે સો ધીસ ઇઝ હાઉ યુ કેન ગો થ્રુ બટ ડેફિનેટલી આઈ વિલ ટેલ યુ કે જે તમને મજા એક હાર્ડ કોપી વાંચવામાં આવશે એ ઓનલાઈનમાં એવું થશે કે મેં બે ત્રણ કલાક જોઈ લીધા પણ એન્ડમાં મને જે મળ્યું એ કદાચ ઝીરો થઈ ગયું તો જો તમારી પાસે હાર્ડ કોપી હોય ને તો એ વાંચવાનું વધારે પ્રિફર કરજો આ ક્યારે વંચાય જ્યારે તમારી પાસે એક સમય હોય સમરાઇઝ કરવાનું હા પીડીએફ તમે યુઝ કરી શકો છો કરંટ અફેર્સના કારણ કે ફોર ધીઝ વિઝન ઇન્સાઇટ દ્રષ્ટિ દે હેવ વેરી ગુડ કન્ટેન્ટ સો એને તમે પ્રિન્ટ આઉટ લઈને કરી શકો છો અથવા ઓનલાઈન તમે ડ્રાઈવમાં સેવ કરી શકો છો વિડીયોઝમાં ટ્રાય ટુ વોચ ધોઝ વિડીયોઝ વિચ આર શોર્ટ ઇન નેચર ક્વિકલી પતે અને તમારા જેવા કન્સેપ્ટ તમને એવું લાગે કે આઈ એમ લેકિંગ ઇન ધીસ કન્સેપ્ટ યુ કેન ગો થ્રુ દેટ કન્સેપ્ટ ઇન ધીસ પર્ટિક્યુલર 
ટોપિક છે ફોર એક્ઝામ્પલ ફાર્મર્સ એક્ટ નથી ખબર પડી રહી શું છે એ ત્રણ એક્ટ આવી ગયા કોમોડિટીઝ એક્ટ એન્ડ કોન્ટ્રાક્ટ એક્ટ તો એ ત્રણે તમે જોઈ લો ફટાફટ સો ઇટ્સ ઓકે પણ એવું ના થાય કે એક જ વિષયના પછી હું ચાર વિડીયો જોઉં ને હું કહું કે હવે આ તો મને આ પૂછો એટલે પતી ગયું સો એ નથી કરવાનું ટ્રાય ટુ ક્લિયર ધ કન્સેપ્ટ થ્રુ વિડીયો બટ ડોન્ટ રિલાય અપોન વિડીયો ટુ મચ કારણ કે તમે જોશો તો તમને લાગશે કે આવડે છે પણ યાદ કેટલું રહે છે હે ને સો દેટ કીપિંગ ઇન યોર માઇન્ડ દેટ લર્નિંગ ઇઝ નેસેસરી યાદ રાખજો વાંચી લીધું એટલે આવડી ગયું નથી તમને લર્ન કરવું ડેટાઝ આર નીડ ટુ બી સ્ટોર્ડ ડેટાઝ નીડ ટુ બી લર્ન ધીસ ઇઝ નેસેસરી હા લર્નિંગ અને રીડિંગ બંને વચ્ચેનો ભેદ સમજીને આપણે તૈયારી કરીશું આફ્ટર દેટ કમ્સ ઇઝ શેડ્યુલ જો હમણાં સુધી આપણે શું કર્યું એક્ઝામ સ્ટ્રક્ચર ખબર પડી આપણને સબ્જેક્ટ ખબર પડી આઈ નો ધ બિબ્લિયોગ્રાફી ધ મેગઝીન્સ બધું મને ખબર છે બધા ઇન્ગ્રેડિયન્ટ રેડી છે હવે શું કરવાનું છે કુક કરવાનું છે સો નાવ વોટ વી નીડ ટુ ડુ ઇઝ ટુ રીડ પણ રીડ કરતા પહેલા શેડ્યુલ બનાવવું જરૂરી છે એવું ન થાય કે બસ હું છ દિવસ કરંટ અફેર્સ વાંચું એટલે એક મેગઝીન લીધું આખા મહિનાનું છ દિવસમાં પૂરું ગાંઠવાનું જ નહીં એવું નહીં કરવાનું you should have a proper time management as i said we began with the time management the value of the time so make a schedule a week wise sat ma thi ek divas revision no rakhvano 6 divas mate tamare vachvano rakhvano ane e pan for example geography thi start karu to geography 6 6 divas vachu evu nahi karvano ek divas ma be subjects rakhvano ana thi shu thase tamaru fatigue develop nahi thai you will not get bored up of reading one subject all along for the 6 days so what you can do is keep two subjects a day this is what i used to do and this is quite easy you'll find it very easy and ghani var eu thai ke hu history vachwa besu ane maharaja sahaj rao gaikwad 3 no karyakal mein vachwa likho etlo interesting etlo interesting ke akho divas mein ej vachu pathi gayo divas puro so instead of that i divide the karyakal into इंटरेस्ट आए तो બે કલાક પછી કે દોઢ કલાક પછી એને ઊંચું મૂકી દેવાનું એન્ડ જમ્પ ટુ ધ અધર સબ્જેક્ટ દેટ ઇઝ હાવ યુ કેન ડુ ના આઈ હેવ મેન્શન ઓનલી થ્રી ટુ ફોર આવર્સ વાય બીકોઝ યુ મેની ઓફ યુ આર સ્ટીલ પર્સ્યુઇંગ યોર ડિગ્રી પ્રોગ્રામ ઓર ધ માસ્ટર ડિગ્રી પ્રોગ્રામ સો ફોર યુ ઇટ માઇટ બી ડિફિકલ્ટ કે હું આઠ કલાક વાંચું અને સાથે સાથે ડિગ્રી પણ પર્સ્યુ કરું આઈ નો ધ પ્રેશર એન્ડ ધ પ્રોજેક્ટ સબમિશન એન્ડ વોટ નોટ એન્ડ નાવ ધ ઓનલાઈન ક્લાસીસ અને એના સિવાય ઘરે હોય એટલે મમ્મી અને પપ્પાના કામ સો એટલા માટે મેં થ્રી ટુ ફોર આવર્સ કીધું છે કે વેરી ઇઝીલી મોર્નિંગ વન આર આફ્ટરનુન વન આર ઇવનિંગ વન આર અને રાત્રે એક રિવિઝન માટે આવી રીતે કંઈક તમે એડજસ્ટ કરી શકો છો જેનાથી શું થશે તમારા સબ્જેક્ટ પ્રિપરેશન ચાલુ રહેશે ડિગ્રી પણ આવી જશે એન્ડ બાય ધ ટાઈમ યુ આર એલિજિબલ યુ આર ક્વાઇટ વેલ ઇક્વિપ વિથ ઓલ ધ સબ્જેક્ટ નોલેજ સો દેટ ઇઝ હાવ યુ શુડ ગો થ્રી ટુ ફોર આવર્સ અ ડે એઝ પર યુઆર કન્વિનિયન્સ યુ કેન શેડ્યુલ એન્ડ ડિઝાઇન યુઅર समय ऑनलाइन विडियो ने नहीं आप तो पहले थी नक्की कर आज and they do have the list ke upcoming videos kya hai so you decide ke aaj hu atla video jovano chu ke aa be video jovano chu hardly 10 12 minutes na hoy to tron video jo jo hi levay so that is how you can plan ke atla video thai jaye etle mukki deva current affairs nu atlo thai jaye etle mukki deva to ena karta vadhare nahi thavu joye next and very important thing is don'ts students hu karta hoy che preparation vakate etla boom thai jaye ke એક્ચુઅલી શું કરવું જોઈએ બાજુ પર રહી જાય છે એન્ડ દેટ ઇઝ વાય મેકિંગ નોન એસેન્શિયલ નોટ પ્લીઝ ઇરેઝ ધીસ કારણ કે સ્ટુડન્ટને એવું લાગે કે હું તો નોટ્સ બનાવું એટલે પતી ગયું મારા જેવી નોટ્સ કોઈની નહીં બટ ડોન્ટ ડુ દેટ એના કરતા તમે બુકમાં અંડરલાઇન કરો 
ऑनलाइन सोर्सेस छे पीडीएफ छे तो एने कट कॉपी पेस्ट करीने के एक मुकी दो ऑनलाइन जो तो मैं ऑनलाइन प्रेफर करता हो तो सो इन स्पाइट ऑफ जस्ट मेकिंग गो ऑन मेकिंग नोट्स हैंड रिटन नोट्स एउ नहीं करवानो एना करता अंडरलाइन करवानो राखवानो एना थी थसे शु के जारे तमे रिवीजन कर सो ने तारे 1 2 3 અને 4th revision એટલે exam time માં તો તમને એવું થઈ જશે કે book just તમે flip કરો છો so that speed will be cultivated only when you have just kept it underlined form ha notes eva banavani jo tamne eu lage ke bhi current affairs ma aa muddo nahi khabar padi rahi then only you can go for the note making otherwise vadhare notes banava thi samay wait phase so try to utilize your time in reading rather than making notes don't read too many books quality ni hu yuva pan vachu hu lakshmi kan pan vachu hu liberty vachu hu જેટલી હોય બધી વાંચી લો અને પછી હું કહું કે પોલિટી માં તો પણ એ 50 માર્ક્સ નું જવાનું છે 200 માંથી તો આપણે બાકીના 150 માર્ક્સ નું શું કરવાનું ધેટ ઇઝ વાય યુ ડિસાઇડ કે પોલિટી માટે હું આ એક જ બુક વાંચીશ પણ એવી વાંચીશ કે હરેક કન્સેપ્ટ આઈ વુડ બી આઈ વુડ હેવ લર્ન બાય હાર્ટ મને ખબર હશે ટ્વિસ્ટ એન્ડ ટર્ન કરીને આવશે તો પણ આઈ વિલ બી એબલ ટુ આન્સર સો ધેટ ઇઝ હાઉ રાધર ધેન રીડિંગ ટુ મેની બુક્સ મેક શ્યોર યુ હેવ વન ઓથેન્ટિક બુક વિથ યુ ધેટ ઇઝ અ કાઇન્ડ ઓફ base for you you'll uh, keep reading that book until your exam you you may supplement some of the points from the current affairs to that book that is how you should do ek book banai do ke aaj mare vachvani chhe ana sivay koi nahi karke badhi book ma same ch content hoy chhe what varies is the content that comes in the current affairs hai ne to aa triple talaq walu last time na edition ma hatu that was a current affairs but point of view of polity to a edition hatu to many books so what you can do lakshmi kan vachu to a lai lo pachi ema farmers act nu nakhi do jo bi jo koi aavse e nakhi do right so that is how you can do then there is this motion right we have this preconditioning of mind now what is preconditioning of mind let me share with you a story quickly because we are running out of time i suppose so there was once there was a group of frogs that was passing through a forest now out of that group two frogs fell into a deep pit now the other frogs gathered around the pit and they started saying the two frogs that fell in the pit they were jump they are jumping and they are trying to come out of the pit but due to the depth of the pit they could not do so they could not succeed so what the other frogs that were gathered around they they were saying stop it stop your efforts and allow yourself to die this was what they were cheering them for dying all right so after a while the one of the two frogs it stopped jumping and immediately fell to death but the other frog it kept jumping and jumping and he thought the the frogs around the pit they are cheering him to come out of the pit the more they were shouting at him to stop his efforts the more effort he was putting in jumping out of the pit and finally my dear students he came out of the pit successfully and then the other frogs asked him oh so finally you made up your mind and you made your way out so what you were thinking so he then replied that i was deaf i could hear you only when you are talking to me very uh with a very close uh, area so he he was basically having the hearing problem so what he thought when he was jumping he thought that they are cheering me to come out of the pit so my dear friends what i want to point out here to you is that don't precondition your mind whenever the people around you talks to you about the failure and small margin of passing students and parikshao to yojati nahi re pachu a પેન્ડેમિક આવી ગયું છે તો હવે નોટિસ આવી નથી એક્ઝામ્સ નું શેડ્યુલ નથી આવ્યું કીપ યોર ઇયર્સ ડેફ તમારી જાતને ડેફ બનાવી દો આવી નેગેટિવિટી થી દૂર રહો બીજો એક નોશન હોય છે લેંગ્વેજ એન્ડ સ્ટ્રીમ ઇંગ્લિશ મીડિયમ સ્ટુડન્ટ ને લાગે કે ભાઈ ગુજરાતી મીડિયમ વાળા પાસ થઈ જાય છે ગુજરાતી મીડિયમ સ્ટુડન્ટ ને લાગે કે ઇંગ્લિશ માં આન્સર લખવાથી પાસ થઈ જાય છે નાઉ ટુ આન્સર ધીસ ક્વેશ્ચન જીપીએસસી હેઝ ઇન્ટ્રોડ્યુસ્ડ વેરી વેરી ક્લિયર એન્ડ Uh, transparent system that you can attempt your answers in mains in both the languages be it english 
गुजराती जो मैंने लगे क्वेश्चन वन हूँ इंग्लिश में अटेम्प्ट करू हूँ आंसर इंग्लिश में लखीस क्वेश्चन टू हूँ गुजराती में लखू दैट इज ओके सो यू नीड नॉट टू चूज योर वन लैंग्वेज फॉर दी एंटायर पेपर सो देर इज नो सच एक्सक्यूज के लैंग्वेज मेक्स डिफरेंस इन पेपर असेसमेंट एंड द आंसर असेसमेंट नो डियर स्टूडेंट सो इट इज नॉट द क्वेश्चन एनी मोर फाइनली प्योर प्रेशर बता जोड़े तैयारी करता है ना एवं कहो आज तो मैं आ कर दीदू लक्ष्मीकांत तो बधा बधा आर्टिकल त्रो ने पचास आर्टिकल मैंने मोड़े थी गया है पेलो जो बीजा रो तैयारी करते हो बीजो एने लगे कि ओहो हो आ तो के आग थी गो मैं तो कशु आवड़त नहीं सो प्लीज स्टे अवे फ्रॉम सच फ्रेंड्स हु आर ट्राइंग टू शो देम सेल्स ऑफ एंड नॉट कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू योर रीडिंग एंड फाइनली ग्रुप स्टडीज दिस इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन क्य करी जो है मरा मते जय ते प्रिलिम्स मेन्स की तैयारी करता हो तो डोट डोट रीड इन द ग्रुप स्टडीज कारण की जनरली डिस्कशन एने डिबेट होता हो रीडिंग थोड़ा बाजू पर रही जात हो तो क्य करव जो है जय ते मेन्स क्लियर कर इंटरव्यू की तैयारी करता हो तेरे ग्रुप स्टडीज प्रेफरेबल है कारण के तेरे तमो एक डिबेटिंग नेचर डेवलप थे कि भाई मारो आ स्टेड है मार सामेवाड़ा नु शू कहू है सो देट विल डेवलप दैट विल हेल्प यू ग्रुप स्टडीज when it is the time of interview now very important part and uh, this is the last part of this uh, webinar that is choice of question now if you think ke prelims apne prelims ni baat kariye chhe barabar kyun ki mains baat to badha question compulsory chhe there is no option so prelims mein jare choice of uh, making choice of question comes in our hand this is gpsc exam 2019 na char prashno me lidha chhe ahiya so that 400 marks no paper એટલે 200 marks no paper અને 100 questions એટલે કે એક question નો બે mark તો તમે એવું વિચાર કરતા હો કે હું 100 100 attempt કરું ને બતાવી દઉં કે હું કેટલો accurate છું તો એ possible નથી કારણ કે પેપર જ એવી રીતે ડિઝાઇન થાય કે તમે બધા attempt ના કરી શકો પણ એનો અર્થ એવો નથી કે તમે એવા questions attempt કરો કે જે તમને વધારે marks આપે that's why i'm telling you जय ते पेपर अटेम्प्ट करो तो के प्रकार प्रश्नों चूज करवा जो सो दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज ऑफ इंडस वेली सीविलाइजेशन एंड दे हेव गिवन फोर ऑप्शन थ्री ऑप्शन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस फ्रॉम द चैप्टर प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस दैट्स ऑफ मैथ्स यू हेव टू फाइंड आउट द मार्क प्राइस थर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट्स बी आई दैट इज डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन इन नेचर Again, you have to make out the question. So, what you say? The percentage less than the number of books sold in store T. And the final question is of um, that's of clock from the chapter clocks. Okay. A four question. Apne joya ema thi. If I am to choose out of these four questions, first question I'll choose is this. It's of clock. Why? Because any a simple formula, chhe, 11 by 2, 30 m minus h. That's it. आ तमे formula मो कोई ले आनो जवाब आ भी जाए 130. जो आ तमे आ तैयारी करता हो, if you have gone through these chapters, you must be aware of this uh, formula, which is very easy. सीधो जवाब आ भी 130. So आ मारो पहलो choice हो जाइए. Next choice out of this three. आ देखा भी मोटो चे. आ देखा वे नानो चाहे आ एक मोटो छे पण आ त्रणे मा आ बहु इजी छे कारण के जो तुम इंडस वैली वाचू होय तो तुमने खबर पडसे की आ त्रणे त्रण दीस ऑल थ्री विल फॉलो ऑलराइट एंड दैट इज व्हाई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई विल चूज इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 अबाउट इंडस वैली अबे आ बे क्वेश्चंस आपरी पासे छे इमाथी कयो क्वेश्चन करवाऊ नाउ सी दिस इज क्वाइट शॉर्ट इन नेचर बट इफ यू विल सी इट रिक्वायर्स इट विल टेक अवे अराउंड 1 एंड 1/2 मिनट ऑफ योर्स जो तुम स्पीड में अपन करता है तो अपन 1 एंड 1/2 मिनट आराम से ले ले छे और जो आ क्वेश्चंस आ क्वेश्चन छे डीआई वालो ये देखावे मोटो छे पर खाली तुम्हारे जोवाने छे सु पी और टी दैट्स इट और पहली परसेंटेज वाली एक इजी फार्मूला छे एने मुकी देवा सो नाउ थर्ड चॉइस वुड बी दिस वन डीआई क्वेश्चन and finally if i have time i'll go for this question or it might come under e option okay so that is how while you are making choice of questions you should keep in mind etla mate paper hath ma avetle pehla paper ne fatafat joi levanu minimum 10 to 15 minutes aaram thi paper jovanu ne nakki kari levanu ke kaya questions hu attempt karvani chu karvano chu and then you jump on solving the paper pehla ch tame joi leso कि हूँ पहला स्टार्ट करूँ एवं नहीं सो दैट इज हाउ चोइस मेकिंग इज 
very important so ultimately today we saw the exam structure the subjects subject preparation through di different bibliography newspaper online sources and magazines how to read and how to schedule your time along with your essential activities then we saw uh, the choice making in the preliminary examination that is how i think this points will develop your insight uh, and definitely dear students this is the golden time for you because though the exams are being delayed but don't worry when there will be exams there will be in lot એટલે ત્યારે તમારે માત્ર પે એટલે ફોર્મ ભર્યા પછી હાર્ડલી 2 ટુ 3 મંથ્સ માં છે એટલે ત્યારે તમે તૈયારી કરવા બેસો તો નહીં ચાલે so this is the right time you are at home you are attending from home to tumaro traveling time ocho thai jaye che you save your time spend and invest your time in reading this is very golden time for you and the golden opportunity because 2021 will come up with different gpsc exams and by then you should be ready with your prehand preparation all right so now i will hand over the 